the SBI reported its numbers and it look like it's a bit of a mixed set while the profitability in NII has come in better than expectation because the NII has come at 39,500 versus expectation of 38,500. The profitability too is better than expected or versus what we were expecting. The profitability came in at 14,330 crore and that's a jump of almost 8%. The provisioning is also on the lower side. The provision this time is just around 1,800 crores versus the street expectation of 3,000 crores. There's an improvement when it comes to the uh, you know asset quality as well both in terms of gross NPA as well as net NPA uh, the gross NPA is down almost 20 basis points sequentially net NPA has been held stable at around 0.76 that is the number we were expecting as well the number of around 2.7 uh, thereabouts but gross NPA is okay actually the net NPA is 0.64 I beg your pardon uh, the net NPA has actually improved better than expectation at 0.64 versus eating out of 0.7 and similarly the gross NPA ratio is actually coming at 2.55 percent and that compares with 2.76 percent last quarter so there is an improvement of 20 basis point on uh, asset quality as well so the thumbs up coming in as far as uh, the NII is concerned thumbs up when it comes to the profitability the asset quality has improved and the provisioning for now seems to be on the lower side we also have uh, you know the guests joining us on the show to talk to us about the earnings Mahantesh Sabra the independent market experts join Joins us on the show. Mahantesh, um, if you got a chance to go through the numbers, your first take on SPI this quarter? So I've had a look at the numbers. Uh, the number seems to be quite in line with expectation. Two things I'd notice is that the employee cost on a is, is up on a sequential basis. That was in a way anticipated. And second, the treasury uh, uh, profits are also uh, slightly lower. So these two aspects uh, are the one which have uh, were expected and brought the results in line. Otherwise, uh, the big takeaway is that the asset quality has remained static. And I haven't calculated the NIM, but what I heard from you is that the NIM is also better. So if that is the case that the results are uh, kind of in line with expectations with a positive uh, kind of uh, takeaway. Okay, so that's the take as far as the first look of the numbers are concerned. I'm also looking at advances. Uh, there seems to be a bit of a slip as far as advances is concerned, while deposits seems to uh, be okay. I'll try and get more details on that. Uh, but separately, as far as uh, the asset quality is concerned, Mahantesh, it wasn't that it was a big worry for the market, but there's a definite improvement better than expected on asset quality as well. So given all that RBI has been saying about, you know, unsecured loans and all of that, for now, there doesn't seem to be any pressure. Uh, as far as the numbers of SBI is concerned, Mahantesh? At least from the headline numbers of NPA, um, it tells us that there doesn't seem to be any worry. When we'll have to look at the granularity in terms of what are the slippages and what are the upgrades, possibly the upgrades would have uh, been better this time around uh, relative to the uh, you know other quarters. I will have to look at this and then uh, take an assessment of whether the overall picture of the result is good. Fair enough, point taken. We also have another guest joining us to talk to us about his analysis as well. Aditya Shah joins us. Uh, he's the founder of Hercules Advisors as well. Aditya, your first take on the numbers as we were reading out, the profitability is largely in line with expectations at 14,330, but the asset quality has improved in terms of GNP ratio, NNP ratio. Provisioning is on the lower side as well. Uh, the NII has held up at around, uh, you know, 39,500 thereabouts. Your first take on the numbers? Uh, good evening. The numbers look fairly in line and fairly stable per se. Uh, we need to check out what were the slippages numbers per se. But as expected, uh, the numbers are all in line. Uh, NPAs are not a problem per se. And we need to understand from the management uh, where, where are they likely to grow going forward. We've already seen the RBI governor warning on the unsecured piece. So we need to understand what the what SBI is going to do there per se. But broadly in line and uh, the slippages number is something that I'm looking for. Slippages will be important to track as well, but for now, at least if you go by what provisions is throwing up, doesn't look like there is uh, a big pressure that uh, they are estimating as far as the asset quality is concerned. But, uh, you know, I wanted to follow up, Mahantesh, regarding your assessment of the, uh, you know, public sector banking space as a whole. In terms of the stock moves, uh, do, you exp do you see that this earnings is anything that would spur a fresh round of rally in the stock price of SBI? So let's look at it 
at uh, from this way the last one year the sba stock has if i'm right delivered just about uh, 1% uh, negative return so that means that uh, it's virtually flat but in this one year the uh, the bank has added something close to uh, 70 rupees as eps okay incrementally so in a one year span the eps added is 70 rupees to the book but the price has moved uh, virtually uh, more, uh, remained on more probably it's just 3 rupees down so that tells me that there has been a big valuation re hearing that has uh, happened for sbi in the past one year it remains to be seen what the investors will likely look at uh, uh, going ahead because to me this um, sandu eps acquisition versus uh, rupees 3 in stock price reduction in one year is a bit uh, unfair treatment of the stock Okay, point taken. Aditya, just coming on the employee costs as well. My colleague Ankur is helpfully pointing out that on a year-on-year -year basis, there's a big jump when it comes to employee costs as well. So OPEX might be, uh, you know, a bit uh, impacted on account of that and the cost-to-income ratio as well. Uh, anything that you are spotting which uh, qualifies as a worry? Uh, nothing per se. Uh, so we've seen uh, competitor banks like HDFC Bank and ICICI Bank have aggressively started to put in branches. Uh, in fact, HDFC Bank has put in about 500 branches. over the last one year itself so sbi also has to invest a lot in their branch infrastructure uh, so there why um, that is why there could be certain bit of rise in the opex but as such there is nothing to complain about for sure i must remind everybody that we are on a very strong credit cycle credit up cycle for sure and the top 3 or 4 banks which include sbi hdfc icici and access to some extent are leading this uh, leg up of the uh, credit cycle so next one or two years will be good for all psu banks and private sector banks after which we could see some spike in npas so net net no problems for say at this stage net net no problem but then other thing what is the worrying point for now you are saying that the next 12 months are look good but is there any monitorable that you are watching out for very closely you talked about slippages and of course the rbi commentary yeah. on unsecured uh, Loans. Is there anything else as well that you're watching out for? Um, no. So I I need to uh, caution everybody that the RBI governor in his monetary policy committee meeting did say there is certain amount of bubble that is building up on the retail side of NPAs now and unsecured retail loans where most of the banks are growing very aggressively, namely the credit cards and the personal loans are the place where uh, one needs to be very very careful. So. Uh, all banks including hdfc icici and axis have uh, have cautioned that there is some bit of bubble and mispricing of loans there per se and the next leg of npa will not be corporate anymore it will be retail npa cycle because everybody wants to lend retail so we also want to hear from the largest bank in the country what do they think about the unsecured loans but i will be very very careful per se on the unsecured side of it and monitor it very carefully Okay, so point taken. You have to, uh, you know, uh, watch out for the asset quality in terms of the retail loans and the slippages number. So that's the word coming in from Aditya. Any last word, Mahantesh, before I let you go? Since we are talking about the retail number, you know, the only hint that one can gauge into right now, based on the numbers, is that the um, segmental result shows that the retail banking number in terms of profits is virtually ten thousand seven hundred crore static quarter on quarter. Uh, so that doesn't tell us anything that uh, says that there is stress incremental stress getting built up in the retail book as of now